Everyone is always asking what makes a great business, and by extension, what makes a great business culture. But no two companies are exactly alike, and as such, a culture that suits one company may not be the right fit for another. I found my way to the DeGroot School of Business having spent a few years working in seemingly divergent worlds. After completing my undergrad, I began working as an academic researcher while simultaneously diving headfirst into the Canadian music industry as an independent musician. Now, needless to say, the pervasive cultures in each of these contexts was very different, but it was through these differences that I came to understand that business culture is not a one-size-fits-all enterprise. When we talk about business culture, we're talking about the collection of values, practices, and ideals that govern an organization's operations. Now, this includes a company's philosophy, their strategy, as well as their aspirations. Culture extends beyond a company's pension for casual Fridays or the motivational posters that line the halls. It's not just about management style, and it's more than a handbook on how to climb the corporate ladder. Sure, all these things may have their place, but an organization's culture is something much greater. It's all the components that come together to establish its identity, who we are, what we want to achieve, and how we're going to get there. This identity is grounded in the way a company sees itself, the way employees view it, and in the public's perception. Now, all these stakeholders will have an assortment of backgrounds and divergent perspectives, a strong business culture can transcend these differences by unifying members with a common identity and aligning their ambitions in the pursuit of a shared vision. There's no one magic culture that can be applied to every company. Large multinationals may have different needs and priorities than small local businesses. Firms in the startup phase may develop cultures organically based on the shared values and beliefs of the founding members. In contrast, large established organizations will need to actively direct the evolution of these environments. But regardless of a company's endeavors, there are key elements of a productive business culture that should be considered. One, a collaborative environment founded on shared ambition. Now, company identity begins with inspiring and visionary leadership. Now, this doesn't imply that founding a culture is necessarily a top-down process. Employees at all levels are going to be involved in fostering and sustaining a particular culture. Number two, always innovate, never rest on your laurels. The value of innovation needs to be at the forefront of an organization's culture. Are things being done or are they being done better? And three, be flexible and be adaptive. Industries change, economies change, and societies change. A company needs to be able to adapt to these changes to ensure its longevity. Culture can guide an organization in all facets of its operation, establishing the system of principles that drive strategy and providing a framework by which to measure performance. But ultimately, business culture needs to be tailored to the company. The right culture is the one that best suits a company's endeavors and fosters broad consensus among invested parties. It should both inspire and serve the ambitions of the company collective, breeding new successes as it becomes further entrenched in an organization's identity.